learned in there, you be the best you could be, you know. So that's that, that military, you know. It, I, I wish everybody had a taste of it. An Alcoa man is celebrating Veterans Day by remembering his days in the Army, something many thought he would never do because of his health. Reporter Jacinta Render spoke to the veteran who says while it wasn't easy, serving his country was one of the best times of his life. Jacinta. Victor Hodge was born and raised in Alcoa and struggled with health issues his whole life. For years, people told him what he couldn't do, but he wanted to prove them wrong by serving in the U.S. Army. My grandmother always told me I was different than my other brothers and sisters. Since Victor Hodge was six years old, he'd struggled with his health. At age 11, Hodge developed an illness in his kidneys, putting him in the hospital for eight months. After his hospital stay came a long recovery at home. His childhood friend Paul Smith says those were tough times. I just knew he couldn't play with us. And yeah. He would just watch us. And, uh, it was kind of hard, really. I always trusted in, in God because my. One day when he was 17, he saw a sign while hanging out with his mom in Mirable. It said, Uncle Sam wants you. Just pointing right at you, just, just as big. At the time, Hodge was doing okay, but his health was still a struggle. Everybody saying I can't do this, I can't do that. And I... He wanted to prove everyone wrong. And I told my mother, let me out. I said, I'm going to the army. She said, boy, you ain't going nowhere. I said, yes, ma'am. Enlisted in 1978. Hodge spent a little over two years serving our country stationed in El Paso, Texas and in the Florida Everglades. I figured he could handle it because he was tough. Yeah. Yeah, he was real tough. He was tough. He was a squad leader while I was in there. You know, I mean, I was a troop. Mm -hmm. I was a trooper. I was, you know. When Hodge was 24, his kidneys failed and he's been on dialysis for nearly 40 years. He still perseveres through life in a wheelchair. Some may wonder how Hodge was able to enlist with health issues. Well, his doctor at the time prescribed a good diet and his illness was undetectable in his examinations. He is forever grateful for his time in the U.S. Army. Beth. All right, Jacinta, appreciate his service.